day another mf and slay welcome to my channel if you are new what's up sis my name is jade i go by lipstick well i used to go by lipstick junkie here on youtube but i go by jade cabria now and if you are a returning og subscriber what's up sis welcome back okay so y'all see me in this same ensemble that y'all saw in my intro and outro yesterday but that's because like i said i just had some footage that um i wanted you guys to see first happy december first y'all i'm not going to cap i am stressed out about a lot your girl not not really stressed but i'm, I'm just kind of antsy i would say more so anxious about a lot of different things that i have coming up that i can't really talk about right now because it'll ruin like y'all see it but it'll ruin it so i can't really talk about it and then christmas is coming up new year's my birthday it's just a lot so not gonna cap i'm going to try my best since this is my actual first official video of vlogmas i'm really gonna try my best i'm gonna try my best to not let things get to me this year for vlogmas i don't know um if you guys aren't sure if y'all don't know but i really got most of my followers from vlogmas like when i first did vlogmas my subscribers went from like 100 to like a thousand then it went from like a thousand to like 2500 and then i started posting beauty videos and i got to 5000 like that it was literally like within two three months and i lost that momentum or have you said momentum momentum i think i'm saying that wrong but y'all know what i'm talking about in college due to seasonal depression um i was going through a lot mentally i had a lot of childhood trauma that i was dealing with in college and i feel like anytime i came back home it kind of reminded me of that and not home as in like my mama house or like my family but just being back in atlanta period i feel like triggered a lot of different things for me whenever i would come back home from school so it's like i was never able to finish vlogmas because of course it, it would be christmas break so i would come back home i would be taking that time to really focus on my mental health as far as just self-care if i remember like i said i don't know if whoever's watching this but i used to have vlogs for vlogmas where i literally would look crazy like hair would be on top of my head missing nails no nails no makeup just looking bummy but it was really like just a way of me to just self-soothe in a sense so this year for vlogmas last year i did one vlogmas video and that was just such a joke but y'all was just so all over the place which i feel like i'm gonna go in depth because i always say this and i always say i'm gonna talk about it but i am gonna talk about it eventually but it's like y'all just don't understand like where i was mentally or how i was feeling it was just it was it was crazy what i was going through everything that i was just going through last year well you guys kind of know some of the stuff that was going on now because i made videos but yeah so uh, this year for vlogmas your girl is going to be on her p's and q's and um i thought one of my beats fell off i'm gonna be on my p's and q's and yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna get it done i'm gonna get it done so today like i said is december 1st happy vlog miss i was gonna say happy i don't know but happy vlog miss happy december new month new vision new blessings just new new everything i am it's 12 o'clock on the dot i have work at two i did start a seasonal part-time job and i'm so glad it's part-time i was kind of complaining at first because i was like i don't want a full-time job but i just don't feel like my mental health like can handle that right now so i start at two my schedule right now sucks but i will not complain but i have to go pick up some important paperwork i'm finally changing my last name and i'm so happy because i finally got my divorce decree and everything of that nature and i just will feel so relieved when this last name is released <laughs> from mine like i'm very glad i hyphenated my name but yeah i just need to drop that second name but because of covid social security everything i feel like is so ass backwards the dmv social security all these like government type of facilities and departments trash trash so i am about to go pick up a paperwork for um 
L paperwork paperwork for that, but I'm gonna explain that to y'all in a second. I'm gonna try my best to not let things get to me this year for Vlogmas. I don't know um, if you guys aren't sure, if y'all don't know, but I really got most of my followers from Vlogmas. Like when I first did Vlogmas, my subscribers went from like 100 to like a thousand. Then it went from like a thousand to like 2,500. And then I started posting beauty videos and I got to 5,000 like that. It was literally like within two, three months. And I lost that momentum or how have you said momentum, momentum. I think I'm saying that wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. In college due to seasonal depression, um, I was going through a lot mentally. I had a lot of childhood trauma that I was dealing with in college. And I feel like anytime I came back home, it kind of reminded me of that and not home as in like my mama house or like my family, but just being back in Atlanta period, I feel like triggered a lot of different things for me whenever I would come back home from school. So it was like, I was never able to finish Vlogmas because of course it, it would be Christmas break. So I would come back home I would be taking that time to really focus on my mental health as far as just self-care. If I remember, like I said, I don't know if whoever's watching this, but I used to have vlogs for Vlogmas where I literally would look crazy. Like hair would be on top of my head, missing nails, no nails, no makeup, just looking bummy. But it was really like just a way of me to just self-soothe in a sense. So this year for vlogmas last year i did one vlogmas video and that was just such a joke but y'all was just so all over the place which i feel like i'm gonna go in depth because i always say this and i always say i'm gonna talk about it but i am gonna talk about it eventually but it's like y'all just don't understand like where i was mentally or how i was feeling it was just it was it was crazy what i was going through everything that i was just going through last year well you guys kind of know some of the stuff that was going on now because i made videos but yeah so uh this year for Vlogmas, your girl is going to be on her P's and Q's. And, um, I thought one of my beats fell off. I'm going to be on my P's and Q's. And, yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. So, today, like I said, is December 1st. Happy Vlogmas. I was to say happy, I don't know, but happy Vlogmas. Happy December. New month, new vision, new blessings. Just new, new everything. I am, it's 12 o'clock on the dot. I have work at two. I did start a seasonal part-time job and I'm so glad it's part-time. I was kind of complaining at first because I was like, I don't want a full-time job, but I just don't feel like my mental health like can handle that right now. So I start at two. My schedule right now sucks, but I will not complain. But I have to go pick up some important paperwork. I'm finally changing my last name and I'm so happy because I finally got my divorce decree and everything of that nature. And I just will feel so relieved when this last name is released <laughs> from mine. Like, I'm very glad I hyphenated my name, but yeah, I just need to drop that second name. But because of COVID, social security, everything I feel like is so ass backwards. The DMV, social security, all these like government type of facilities and departments, trash trash so i am about to go pick up a paperwork for um l paperwork paperwork for that but i'm gonna explain that to y'all in a second so they've been giving me the hardest time when you call them they say due to covid it's appointment only but then when you try to make an appointment on like their automatic system automated automatic always say automatic it's automated but um that system It'll sit here and say, like, it kept saying, we're open. Like, oh, that ice just scared me. But, yeah, so it was telling me when I kept calling yesterday morning, like, you have to make an appointment. When I try to make an appointment, they was like, they're open. So it doesn't allow you to make an appointment via phone. So I'm like, okay. So I go up there, y'all. Realize I, lo I, I, didn't lo I didn't lose. Let me not say that. But realize I left my license. So I had to come all the way back home. Luckily, I went to the one down the street. So, well, down the street, around the corner and around another corner. So it was like 15, 20 minutes away. But luckily I went there because I didn't have my license. So 
I'm thinking they're open because I see people outside. Y'all, why I pulled back up and they was not open? The one agent they had inside was just answering some angry man because he was banging on the door. And I thought that was the craziest thing ever. So I had to call, wait a little minute. And then when I finally got somebody on the phone, do y'all know that they're advising people to send in original documents as in birth certificate driver's license that's the craziest thing to me like first of all this is scam city i'm in, i live in atlanta are you serious like even before like the whole scam and all that the fraudulent stuff was like a big wave atlanta been on scam and shit like ever since i was little i can remember like people was doing all type of drugs and and hitting all type of leaks so that's why i'm like why would i do that like that's y'all only option I'm like, that. that is the craziest thing I ever heard. Y'all want me to mail in my real driver's license and my original birth certificate? Girl, y'all smoking crack, okay? So, luckily, they gave me another option of sending in, like, a medical record or something like that. So, that's why I'm going to my doctor's office. I appreciate them so much. I know I be talking on Twitter all the time about how I love my doctor, and I really do, like... I just love how they take care of me. This was like, they kept saying this was the first time they've ever had somebody like ask, I guess, make the request that I made as far as having the like patient form because it's not like it's, it's not something that they do. Like it has to be stamped. Like everything is just so, it's so tedious and it's just so much and it's so annoying. But I appreciate them because they really could have just been like, well, you SOL, we're not doing all that. They just got a new location. So the printer's not working. One nurse faxed it to the to the um, previous location. And then, um, well, no, I'm sorry. They basically, what they did was basically emailed it. My doctor's office emailed it to their new location. And so I'm gonna go pick it up at their new location since they don't have a printer and they won't be able to print until she said next wednesday and today is only tuesday so this lady did all of that like she had them email my paperwork and then i'm just gonna print it up at a different print up y'all i'm all over the place pick it up at a different doctor's office so i really appreciate that because they really didn't have to do all that and so yeah i'm able to get my last name back and just my last name so that's what i'm about to go do now Finally made it. The um, parking guy was being such a butthole. Like, but I'm here. Made it. Ooh, this look like a um, crazy, crazy, uh, what they call it, the mental institution. But yeah, he's been such a butt because I didn't know where to go. And he's like, this is the building right here. So I'm like, duh, but if I'm asking you, like, do I, which location do I enter? It's a big ass building. But anyhow. Hello. Hi. Oh, I just I don't think this is the word. I'm not sure. I'm just here to pick up paperwork. My name is Jane. Ma'am. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate y'all. Have a great one. I, I will. You too. Thank you. Easy breezy. I love it when people make stuff easy for me. Oh, okay. And see how I just got back up in. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I pressed two. I'm on two. But yeah, the guy was being so mean. I'm like, are you having a bad day? So I just started driving off. And he was like, ma'am, ma'am, wait. And then he wanted to give me in-depth instructions. Because I guess he could tell. Because I'm like, what you being so mean for? Nasty. If I'm telling you I'm, I don't know, and I have no idea. That was quick. But I'm definitely about to go back to my car to read this just to make sure everything is right. And then y'all, I parked right here. No cap, this was very easy. Where are the keys? I can't never find them. Yeah, this was super easy. And I really do appreciate them. Cause like I said, 
social security is giving me a hard time so it's like forcing me to give them a hard time and nobody likes a hard time um, but let me lock my doors because they got a lot going on over here we are in the city of atlanta like look at them they look suspicious and they white people because why is white people on the west end i'm just playing just playing that was just a joke Oh, look, and she gave me the little thing, my hospital medicine, to whom it may concern. Oh, okay, my birthday on there. I was about to say, no! No, she didn't put my birthday. Yep, this should be cool. Good, yes, thank you. Oh, was this Miss Latonya? Oh, y'all gotta tell Miss Latonya I appreciate her. Yeah, I got to tell her I appreciate her because this is the lady that's actually at the other location that I was speaking to the whole time. And the lady that I was just talking to back there, she was the lady that kind of took it over because, like I said, this is a new location. So, um, you know, the whole license situation. But that was quick. Oh, God, I got her at 12. It's 1232. It's 1232. I love it. Like, these last few days have just been so good god please let them continue to go good let december be good to me all my folks <laughs> like i just love how the universe tried to throw me curveballs and then it's like i came out just hitting them because y'all i always be having problems i'm not even gonna cap not even trying to sound like a pessimistic person nothing like that but it's always something and it's like i love it when i get thrown all these curveballs and then i can throw them hoes back like Okay, so let's go home.